you spoke about the very positive effects of the widespread use of information technology. Well, occasionally, there are some negative aspects. And just in the past uh, month, uh, we've learned how an employee of Booz Allen, uh, Edward Snowden, uh, used information technology, which was confidential, uh, to, uh, to provide that information uh, outside of the uh, uh, his organization to uh, public sources <coughs> and possible great danger to our security. My question is, uh, uh, I know this is quite different from your, the general concept of your talk, but with your knowledge of the information technology, what steps do you think can be taken, uh, both uh, and, uh, with Booz Allen, uh, which is a private contractor, you know, individuals uh, to try to prevent uh, this kind of thing from happening again? Um, let me answer that a little more generally. I think this is a more general point that's really important that any technology, information technology, other technologies, aren't in and of themselves, um, you know, wholly positive or negative. It depends on how they're used. And so, again, you know, promoting the kinds of uses that benefit society. This includes not only um, telling people to search for jobs online, but um, it, it involves thinking about what are some of the bad things that can happen to. So at the individual level, I actually want to answer this at the individual level. An important thing is issues of privacy and security online for individuals that they know how to use the internet wisely. Um, I think governments, uh, so I do some research on e-government, and one of the things that um, I think is a benefit, is, uh, things like open data portals where governments are intentionally putting out more information online and, and it can help with transparency and accountability. But it also introduces new issues for governments and how do you manage information, what should be out there, what shouldn't be out there. Um, you know, there are debates over whether some of this information should have been public or not, but you know, there's some information online also um, that needs to be guarded um, for individuals' privacy and security for things like national security. So, in any event, you know, while this introduces new opportunities, um, there are new hazards as well, and that's why it's important for training for individuals, um, for them to really understand what they're doing online. Um, it introduces a lot of new questions for institutions in our society about how we use information and who should have access to it, too. So.